Hi class, we're talking about how to use textual evidence. And I'd like to record some steps for how to do that using this Scope Scholastic poster that we've been looking at. So how to use text evidence. When you write about something you've read, you need to use text evidence, textual evidence. That is details from the text to support the points you're making. You can use textual evidence in the form of a direct quotation, the author's exact words, or a paraphrase, a restatement of what the author wrote. You also need to explain why that text is relevant. Okay, so something I like to say is if you're using a direct quotation, try to limit your direct quote to 10 words or less. Okay, most of your paragraph when you cite a textual evidence should be in your own words. Okay, so here we go. Number one, quote or paraphrase. When you use a direct quote, copy down the exact words from the sentence, surround a direct quote with quotation marks. Okay, and then you're gonna have to make sure you give credit to whoever the quote came from. Identify who said it, who wrote it, what you're quoting or paraphrasing. This is called citing your source. And as, when possible, learn how to include a page number. It's a good habit to get into because you're going to need this in your further education, including that page number. Okay, so words to help you. So use a direct quote and say, according to blah, 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 the author, the author states, the author argues, the author notes, using one of these words to help cite your evidence. So quote or paraphrase, citation word, and then E, explain. Explain why your text evidence, why your evidence is relevant why it matters, why it's important. Why is that good evidence for your answer? Include a sentence that makes it clear how the text evidence supports your idea. So, so what? Why are you using that information? This tells me that, this shows me that, this proves that, this exemplifies how, this confirms, this describes, this suggests. Okay, so again, we've learned how to ace our answers. Answer the question using keywords from the prompt, cite textual evidence, and explain. So steps one and two have to do with citing textual evidence, and then number three has to do with explaining. So answer the question, cite evidence, explain. Okay, so I'd like you to look at an example here. So there are two paragraphs and I wanna show you this one, the second one. Go ahead and um, follow along as I read this to you. As we look at this paragraph, we're going to look at how evidence is cited and whether the author has done a sufficient job, a good enough job at explaining their evidence. Here we go. Bigger, <laughs> make it bigger. Riding the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster, King Daka, is a unique experience. According to Mario Martinez, King Daka accelerates to 120 miles per hour in less than three seconds, going straight up at a 90 degree angle. Quote, I have ridden hundreds of coasters, but none of them were as terrifying as this one. Well, it looks like a pretty good paragraph so far. Hmm, what's not right about it? It says, in this paragraph, neither the quote nor the paraphrase is cited correctly. Who is Mario Martinez? Is that the author? I don't know. Which page in what book or article did the paraphrase and quote come from? 
citing your evidence, your source. The, auth- the writer also fails to explain how her text evidence supports her statement that writing King to Ka is unique. She just plopped her text evidence into her paragraph. Like copied, pasted, put a quote around it, boom, done. That's not good enough. So let's look at a strong example. Go ahead and follow along with me, please. Riding the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster, King Daka, is a unique experience. Okay, we've got a claim statement. According to author Mario Martinez in his book, ah, he's the author, here's his book. Okay, according to author Mario Martinez in his book, Roller Coasters of the World, King Daka accelerates to 128 miles per hour in less than three seconds, going straight up at a 90 degree angle. Page 18 of his book. Quote, I have ridden hundreds of coasters, he writes, but none of them were as terrifying as this one. Say so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, it's a longer quote, but it's okay. From page 20, this suggests that King Daka stands out among roller coasters as particularly intense. So notice the quote he writes and what page it comes from. And very important, that second part, part three. Explain. How does your evidence support your claim? This suggests that King Daka stands out among roller coasters as particularly intense. Okay, and that's how you do it. So when we're citing textual evidence, we're going to quote or paraphrase. Paraphrase means to put it in our own words. We're going to use citation words to help us. What does the author say? Okay, and then why is it in, explain why our evidence is good. And that's how to use textual evidence.